morning. Uh, I know it's 6.30 and not 7.30. Um, maybe a couple of you are up and already on Facebook and you'll, you'll pop on, but uh, I am just gonna leave this here. I, we're in Charleston for the wedding, uh, our third of three weddings this summer. And um, I had told a friend of mine that I'd go fishing with him this morning, uh, thinking that that'd be a, a later morning kind of thing, but that shows you how much I know about fishing. You gotta get an early start. So hopefully I'll be fishing and maybe without service by about 7.30. So I thought I'd go ahead and record this and, and hopefully it's okay that it's not live right at 7.30. Uh, Y'all can watch it. Only a few people watch live anyway and a lot of people catch it later. Um, so I'm sorry for this, but uh, we'll see uh, if you guys give me a little forgiveness here, a little grace. I want to talk a little bit about fishing actually, um, but let's start with a prayer and then we'll hop right into it. Let us pray. God, thank you for a beautiful day. And thank you for your creation and the different ways that we can experience it, uh, whether being outside, uh, whether uh, looking at pictures of other times, vacations that we've taken and spent some time in your creation, whether we're spending time with other people who are also part of your creation. Thank you for this opportunities. Um, we ask that you be with us in good times and in bad times, that you be with us throughout today, and that you give us strength, that you give us faith, that you give us courage. Um, and that you fill us up with something good. Surround us with your spirit to do good things in this world and to live our lives with faith and hope. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Uh, so <clears throat> when I was thinking about fishing, um, there was a story that I read a couple weeks ago about some lakes in Minnesota um, that have told people to stop throwing their pet goldfish into the lake once they're done with them or once they get too big for their tanks, whatever to stop throwing their goldfish into the lake. Uh, and I thought that was funny, but apparently these goldfish are getting huge. Um, I'm not sure the picture made it look like these goldfish are three feet long. I'm sure that's not right. Uh, but there, there are these huge goldfish that are taking over um, big lakes in Minnesota, some big, some small, uh, but they're taking over these lakes. And so they told people to stop uh, tossing their goldfish into the lake. And I think that's kind of funny. And it's one of those things that might have consequences that you don't think about um, until later. And they, it starts out as something small, you're just tossing a tiny goldfish into a lake so that it can have a good life later. Um, and then eventually it's three feet long. Okay, well that might be an exaggeration, but it's, it's bigger than you expected. Um, and it just shows us that sometimes our actions have bigger consequences on the world around us than we might think. Uh, and that can be a good thing, we can do something small and it can become something great. Uh, but we can also do something small and it, it starts out as a tiny bad situation and it gets worse. Um, so to really think about how our actions are affecting the world around us, affecting God's creation um, and, and the people around us. And I think about the different ways that we try to combat that by um, doing what we would hope to be is God's work in the world, not just our work. Uh, and I think about the community ministry team that's already thinking about God's work, Our Hands Sunday this September. It's a time when we split up as a congregation after worship. Uh, we, I think we eat lunch together first and then we split up and do different service projects in the community. Um, just trying to make sure that we as a congregation are not just in our building and in gathering together, but we're having an, a positive impact on the world around us. Um, and so God's work, but it comes through our hands. It's always a, a simple but really poignant way of thinking about the way that we try to live our lives in the world. And sometimes we get it wrong and that's okay. Uh, but if we're always striving to, to love each other and to love God with our actions, then I think we get it right more often than not. So those are just a, a few simple thoughts. Good fishing today, get some fish that are bigger than these three foot goldfish, but who, who knows? Um, mostly I just wanna spend time with a friend and that's kind of what I do fishing for. I'm not good at it enough to, to really seek out good fish. So just spending time with a friend and that's one way to spend a day. God bless y'all, let's pray and then we'll go about our days. God, be present with us in our actions, in our inactions. Be present with us in all the things that we do and don't do and, and make good out of our work. Uh, make our hands benefit the world with your work. Um, help us to do your work with our hands uh, and help us to uh, notice when we're doing something that might not benefit the world around us. Help us to be aware of our 
the consequences of our actions, good or bad, um, and help us to always strive uh, to lead and to end with love, so that everything we do is in love of our neighbors and love of you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you all. hope you have a wonderful day. Uh, and again, thank you for the grace on this being an hour early. Um, and good to see you, Gretchen. You're, you're here early, and that's even earlier out in Central Time. So God bless you guys.